Hello guys, I am Kirpa Karan, a qualified chartered accountant, secured an All India 23rd rank in July 2021 examination. Currently, I am working in HSBC Bank as a manager in finance role in Global Banking and Markets Department. So, about my job description, I am taking care of this RWA reporting that is risk weighted assets and apart from that, I am also taking care of this market securities product such as equities, debt securities and forex. So, in short, so HSBC is operating in around more than 60 countries. So, I will be getting the data from all the regions. So, I will be preparing the report. I will be preparing the projections and I will be doing some analysis of financial impact of those products and the RWS and I will be reporting to the senior management. This is what I am doing right now. So, I cannot much reveal about my job profile. So, I got this job through IC Chennai campus placement only. And I had an altogether different experience during the HSBC interview process because most of the interview questions were related to the behavioral aspects only. Acknowledging the fact that we are a chartered accountant, they did not much test the technical knowledge of the candidate. And we had a two rounds of interview. Both the both the rounds were held in the same day only. And in the morning, the first in the first round of interview, all the interview questions were related to the behavioral aspects only. So the questions were like, how will you be with the senior age people? who does not, who did not have any technical background and how will you proactively deal a particular situation. So the questions were like this only and in the second round of interview that is held in the afternoon, they were asking about the same behavioral aspects and they were even asking the my personal experience of dealing with, working with automation tools like Python and my personal experience of working with MS Office tools, especially this MS Excel. So I had a smooth interview process only and the strategies that I followed during my interview process is to all the interview questions I was linking my personal practical experience and my article ship practical experience to the questions so this personally helped me to go through the interview process why did I choose the banking industry to be frankly speaking I did not have any personal desire over any industry after clearing my CV final examination even after securing an all India rank but I had these following five things in my mind. I want a job profile where there should be a good scope for learning, good scope for career growth and good scope for global opportunities that is abroad opportunities and good work-life balance and of course a good pay. So among the 20 companies that shortlisted me in the CA, ICA Chennai campus placement, I personally liked HSBC as an organization and the job profile that they offered me I'd almost satisfy all the five criteria that I had in my mind. So this is how I chose banking industry. And to be frankly speaking, I'm really, really happy about the decision that I made. And this was one of the best decisions that I ever made in the last six months. And I personally recommend to anyone to choose a banking industry, especially a foreign bank where we'll be getting a good growth opportunities, global opportunities, good work-life balance, and even a good pay. Two suggestions from my end for the newly qualified chartered accountants who are about to appear for the interviews. First one, say if you are appearing for an interview for a finance role, all of your competitors are going to be a chartered accountant. So the one thing that is going to differentiate you from the others is the additional skills. So I, and you have one month left for your campus interviews. So I personally recommend you to pursue any certification course, especially certification course on automation tools like Python or Microsoft Visual Basics because this will increase the probability of you getting the job that you are appearing for and I do have the personal opinion that in the future technology is going to rule the financial department also and the second one is once you get into the job don't limit yourself to the SOPs don't limit yourself to the traditional way of doing the process Try to simplify the process, try to incorporate the innovation and automation skills over there. This will help you to grow in your career. And that's it from my end. All the very best for your interviews.